Good morning. It's Michael Whitehouse, the guy who knows the guy with your motivational minute. So I was right, and you know, and when I'm right, I like to call it out. And I said the sun would rise this morning, and sure enough, it did. You can't see it, the building's in the way, but it's so bright out here because the sun came up. Look outside, you can see it yourself. The election happened, it ended, the sun rose. I was correct. It's a pretty simple prediction. Now, we don't know who the president is as I record this because they're still counting ballots and whatnot. And a lot of you are really worried about that. You're watching the news. You're hitting refresh on your on your news apps. You're looking at Facebook. You're looking at Twitter. You're reading. You're looking at analysis. You're going to 538. Stop. Unless you are an election attorney or a campaign worker, campaign operative, not a campaign volunteer, campaign operative, a candidate, ballot counter, if you're involved, stick with it. Keep doing this important work, you gotta do it. Otherwise, stop worrying about it. Because here's the thing, a friend of mine really summed this up quite well. I don't care who wins because whether it's Biden or Trump, I'm still gonna have my same crappy job that pays the same crappy wage that I have to leave my kids to go work. Trump's not gonna get you a better job. Biden's not going to get you a better job. Now you might say, well, we're going to fix the economy or whatever. But you individually, you, you one person, you have much more power over your life than the president does for your individual prosperity. Now, if you're looking at the apps, if you're reading the paper, if you're looking at, at all the, the 538 and everything else, you're going to exhaust yourself. You're going to come to the end of the day and be like, oh, man, I am so exhausted. And they, your corporate overlords, love that. Because if you're exhausted, you're going to be too tired to cook. So maybe you'll just get like Domino's or McDonald's or something. And if you're exhausted, you're going to need, you, maybe you need a drink. Well, you're going to go to the store, you're going to buy a drink, and you're going to drink it. And then you'll be like, you know what, I, I need some retail therapy. I need a nice, I need a, a pretty dress, a new hat. I need a, some sunglasses. I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to go on some, some site somewhere. I'm going to go to Walmart. And I'm going to make myself feel better by spending some money. None of these things help you. They help other people get richer with your money. So instead of exhausting yourself following the election that you can't do anything about, and that we may not even have results on for a few days, Instead of all that, why don't you instead focus on making yourself richer with your own effort and your own mind? See, exhausted and tired are different. I get tired doing karate. I get tired doing a long day, and a long day of work and coding and writing and everything else. That's tiring, but tired is satisfied. Tired is I worked hard. You know, when I move this weekend, I'm going to be tired, but I'm going to feel good about it. You get the endorphins, you've been working, you're like, yeah, job well done. Exhausted is when you're running your mind as if you're busy, but you're not actually getting anything done. So if you are obsessively following the election results and, oh, what's the latest count from Pennsylvania? Oh, what's the latest count from Wisconsin? Oh, what does North Carolina say? Oh, what happened to Virginia? If you're obsessing on that, you're going to exhaust yourself for no benefit no benefit. You're not making the world a better place. Now, it may happen in a few days. You do need to act. You may need to make phone calls, letters. You may need to march. You may need, who knows? It's 2020. You may need to fight the aliens when they come in. But you don't need to do it today. So today, focus on what you can do for you. And I don't mean self-care. Self-care is fine. You can do self-care. But at a point, certain point, you have to stop caring for yourself and start serving yourself. Start helping yourself, building yourself up, building your capacity. I talk about this a lot. If you could make a million dollars a year, you would have a lot more political influence than if you make $10,000 a year. So work on getting there. And I'm saying you can become a millionaire, but the more you have, the more you have to give. Focus on you. Don't worry about the election today. Trust me, when there's results, you'll hear about them one way or the other. I'm Michael Whitehouse. Thank you for watching. Uh, one way to stay informed about hearing about things that matter is my email list, guywhoknowsaguy.com slash subscribe to sign up for my email list. Uh, and of course, join our Facebook group, Confident Connected and Influential, facebook.com slash groups slash Confident Connected. I'll see you tomorrow.